Here's today's daily shout outs. Congratulations, guys. If you guys want a chance to win a shout out on my next video, just leave a nice comment down below. Also, be sure to hit that subscribe button and drop a like. And check out listingnoel.com for the merch. Hi there. I just got an idea how to make Chuck E. Cheese's better than ever. <laughs>
Freddy's. Comment down below, would you guys actually go to a Chuck E. Cheese, like, FNAF based pizzeria? Like, would you guys want to bring your family there? Would it be like for older, like, aged kids? Like, I don't think younger kids would really want to go to a pizzeria that's kind of creepy based on, like, Five Nights at Freddy's. But let me know what you guys think about that whole concept down below in the comments. And last but not least, before we go out to Chuck E. Cheese at 12 a.m., I do want to mention, this is a little scary, so if you guys are younger viewers, I do advise you guys, if you don't like getting scared, maybe don't watch the rest of this video, but there has been a lot of really weird incidents at Chuck E. Cheese's. Take a look. An accused murderer is now behind bars after he was spotted at a Chuck E. Cheese. Holbert was spotted at the restaurant with his girlfriend and their child, and he lured an 18-year-old out of his home in College Park, then shot and killed him. Well, you know, kids love a party at Chuck E. Cheese's. One of them thinks it's a great idea to, in the midst of all these children, pull a gun out of his pants. <laughs> Little Nevaeh is so excited to go to her party at Chuck E. Cheese. How old are you? Uh, three. She's just trembling, something most parents can't even begin to comprehend, being pulled in anger at a place that is all about kids' pizza and games. I don't know why the news hasn't brought up a lot of these. Um, a lot of crimes, a lot of fights, a lot of just like weird, creepy things. I even heard a rumor about a child actually getting cut open inside of the Chuck E. Cheese ticket blaster. Three, two. I'm not even kidding, it's all over the internet for some reason. I think there was a weird malfunction. If you guys don't know what the ticket blaster is, I'll put it here on the screen. It's those things you get into at your birthday party where all the tickets fly around you and you actually grab them as fast as you can. Apparently, Chuck E. Cheese had brought out a new ticket blaster, which means it was never tested before and they decided to run it on the day of some child's birthday. But apparently, the first kid who got into this ticket blaster without it being tested ended up getting cuts all over his body and getting severely, severely injured injured to the point where he had to go to the hospital and might have even died. I'm not so sure what the whole situation might have been on this one or if it's real, but if it was real, that is so sad and respects go out to him and his family. But there's just been so many creepy things that have happened about the animatronics moving at night, about Chuck E. Cheese being super weird, super creepy. Um, but these are all conspiracies and theories and possibly rumors. But tonight, guys, here's the big reveal. We're going to head out right now at 12 a.m. It's about 12 a.m. right now where I live in California. And we're going to go take a look at my local Chuck E. Cheese and see if we can catch anything weird. And we're also going to bring some weird ghost hunting equipment to see if we catch any of like the animatronics trying to communicate with us and I'm kind of scared so please drop a like and subscribe and pray for me because we're about to go possibly get kidnapped by Chuck E. Cheese let's go I'm so scared okay so I'm in the car right now headed to Chuck E. Cheese and it's super late sorry that the lighting is not the greatest and I'm kind of nervous because it is so dark outside oh and no one's gonna be at Chuck E. Cheese I'm gonna look so creepy if like someone saw me just like walking around the building at like 12. <laughs> oh my gosh we're driving up to the Chuck E. Cheese right now and guys I don't know if you noticed that but why is the whole place lit up there's probably a worker in here super late but what would they be doing and the arcade's not even supposed to be like turned on like I see somebody inside of there what's going on in there that is so so, so sketchy, guys. Oh my gosh, okay, so I was just about to walk up to the building right after I filmed that, and look, all the lights just went out. That is so creepy. So I think I'm gonna hide so that whatever worker is here doesn't see me and like try to call the cops on me, like thinking I'm like trying to break into Chuck E. Cheese at 12. Okay, I'm gonna go back really quick. Oh my gosh. Okay, so I was waiting because there was workers. I guess they were like working like night shifts here for some reason. And I didn't want them to think I was crazy. So I waited for them to finally leave. And now we're gonna walk up to the building and hopefully like not get arrested or anything or look like I'm trying to break into this Chuck E. Cheese. This is the most awkward thing I've ever done. I'm really scared actually to look inside of here like after hours. I've never like looked at a Chuck E. Cheese after hours. <gasps> ew, I can see the animatronics. Ew, ew, ew. Oh my gosh, they look so scary. If I capture them moving, let me see if I can zoom in. Oh my gosh, that's so, so creepy. I don't know if you guys can see that, but like they're all back there and their eyes are all shut. I'm so creeped out and look how dark this whole place is. Like there's a few lights left on, but honestly, like, if one of these moves, I'm going to literally have a heart attack. Okay, so I'm walking up closer. 
This is the dark inside of a Chuck E. Cheese at night. I swear if someone's in here and they see me doing this, I'm gonna be so embarrassed. Okay, but like, oh my gosh. <gasps> They're so creepy. I really don't wanna see anything move in here. Like, do you guys see that? Do you guys see the animatronics? Let me try to move like a little bit. Oh, their eyes are just like frozen shut. I'm gonna try to zoom in as much as possible, but that's about it. I don't think they're moving at all, so if that's the answer you guys wanted, I have not seen any movement, but we're gonna still see if this place is haunted. But yeah, this is like what Chuck E. Cheese looks like at night, guys. If you guys are wondering, all the games are shut off. They keep the back part lit up, like with the signs and stuff like that. And then the animatronics are all just shut off with their eyes closed, and I have not seen any movement. So it would have been really way too scary. I would have like screamed and ran away if like they moved or they just all of a sudden lit up. Like I would have been out of here. But yeah, they have their hours on here, you know. Um, all that stuff, the sign's still there. But of course, it's currently closed, so we're going to walk away and do some scary tests out here to see if there's any paranormal activity. Is it haunted? I don't think it is, but I literally would have lost my mind if those animatronics moved or if there's any creepy evidence of like, you know, just something off. I didn't see anything weird though, so that's actually kind of a good thing that Chuck E. Cheese wasn't as scary as I thought it would be at night. I think it's just more scary that I'm like walking alone in this random big dark parking lot outside of a Chuck E. Cheese. Like, I don't know, am I brave? I don't know. Okay, we're gonna play with some like ghost equipment now and I'm kind of scared of that. Like you never know, like I'm just a little bit freaked out. Okay, so I know it's super dark and scary, but these right here are actually ghost rods. I like to just call them ghost rods, but they're rods. And you can apparently communicate with spirits if there happen to be any around. Um, And basically how it works is, <laughs> I almost fell, there's a ditch behind me. Okay, I'm not gonna die outside of a Chuck E. Cheese at 12 a.m. So you hold them down like this and then you want to bring them up and hold them very still. And if they cross each other, that means yes. And if they open super wide, that means no. And there's wind right now and look at how windy it is and the rods are still not moving. So we're gonna see if we get any movement. Okay, if there's any rat spirits in this area, say yes or no, please. Cross for yes, open wide for no if it's not a rat spirit. It's opening wide for no. I am not kidding, I'm not touching it. Look at the rods are opening wide for no, so it's not a rat spirit. Okay, so apparently it's not a rat spirit. I'm kind of scared, I'm gonna put them down. Okay, so we know it's not a rat. Okay, so let's ask this. Um, do you like pizza? Cross for yes and open wide for no. I mean, who doesn't like pizza though? Like we're outside of a Chuck E. Cheese. Like, how could you not enjoy some luscious pizza? They're crossing. They like pizza. Oh my gosh, look how much they crossed. Okay, you can un uncross the rods now. Thank you. Let's see if they uncross it. Very slowly uncrossing. So there is like activity out here. According to these rods, there is like spirit. So let's ask one more question. This is getting way too creepy for me a little bit. Like it's kind of an eerie feeling um, that these are moving all by themselves. Like I'm not moving them. So we'll do one more. Um, do you like Chuck E. Cheese? Cross for yes. They just crossed so fast. They literally touched. I'm getting the chills right now. I'm actually kind of scared. Okay, thank you. Open the rods, please. I'm getting chills. All right, um, if you like Chuck E. Cheese, are you a kid? Cross for yes. Ew, I'm getting chills across my whole body. Okay, open the rods, please. Oh, there is a strong activity right here. I'm not even kidding. Like, my mom looks scared behind the camera. Do you think Chuck E. Cheese is cool? Like, I mean, like, the mascot? Like, he is a cool mascot. They like him. They like Chuck E. Cheese. Okay, last question we're going to ask. Um, if you're out here, do you know if uh, five kids really went missing at this Chuck E. Cheese or any Chuck E. Cheese? Cross the rods if yes. They crossed so fast. Wow, so five kids went missing according to the spirit who's out here. So that was the rods, guys. So I guess whoever might be out here, they love pizza, they love Chuck E. Cheese. Um, they're not a rat, so it's not Chuck E. Cheese um, himself or any of the animatronics, but they are a kid who might have, you know, been over here who is attached to the Chuck E. Cheese building, which is really interesting. So thank you so much for whoever I just interviewed in the spirit land. But yeah, that's that's um, the, the rods for you guys and the answers about Chuck E. Cheese's.
So that was it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you guys enjoyed, be sure to hit the subscribe button, be sure to drop a like, and be sure to leave a comment down below. I will see you guys next time. Goodbye.